hey welcome back so from this section onwards let's get started with controller area network the CAN protocol now this section is really important because uh, you know we are going to learn lots of things related to the control area protocol and uh, we are going to discuss both theory as well as practical aspects of the control area network now the important thing I have covered in this section is so first let's understand about the CAN bus protocol and its features all right so we'll understand what exactly is a bus access methodology CAN transceiver details CAN nodes a CAN signaling and other important features of the CAN protocol okay so we'll cover the fundamentals first now after that we are going to explore about the operating principles of the CAN bus and uh, also we are going to explore about the different message formats of the control area network all right and after that we are going to explore the BX CAN peripheral of the STM32 microcontroller. Now the BX CAN stands for Basic Extended CAN, which is a CAN controller, which is there inside your microcontroller. So we are going to visit the reference manual in order to understand uh, various features of that CAN controller given by the ST, like the transmission path, reception path, the CAN filtering, and CAN interrupts and other details and uh, not only theory we are going to write many uh, code examples in order to understand the can controller now this section is very important because if you cover all the videos which are there in this section then you can you know troubleshoot or debug can related problems not only on st's microcontroller so you can apply these discussions or uh, these uh, points to any microcontroller you have at your hand while dealing with the CAN peripheral okay so it will give you a good insight about handling or writing application for this controller all right from the next lecture onwards let's get started with controller area network